Hey everybody, I just wanted to share a little project I've been working on. This is kind of my Raspberry Pi data center. Um, it's the start of it. Um, this is gonna, I'm gonna have some more, more actual stacks at some point. Um, but essentially I'll have all these different Raspberry Pis that have all their different normal like data center functions, servers, um, file shares. Um, I'm next big portion I'm going to work on is the storage and get all this booting from the storage. But, uh, it actually, the, each one's booting from the SD card right now and running separate tasks. So I'll have to move those over probably either NFS or iSCSI at some point. Um, but I have, uh, different services. I have SMTP relay. I have, um, network monitoring. I've got, um, a phone system on here so it uses a PBX and a VPN server all that's currently running right now plus I just added um, the Raspberry Pi version of Alexa which is very cool and I think I'm gonna set up some schools skills to do things so I said her name so of course she chimes in Alexa make me a sandwich Alexa make me a sandwich I'm not a replicator. Alexa. Pseudo make me a sandwich. Well, if you put it like that, how could I refuse? So anyways, I got that part functioning and now um, I'm going to add some skills to it at some point on the Amazon site for the developer site. But uh, once I get that going, hopefully... Um, we'll be able to do things. I want to get it to where I can do auto updates. Like I can tell the system to update and it goes through and runs updates on it. And then, um, maybe even more. Um, I will at some point do it. Uh, my buddy's got a 3d printer. I'm going to try to work with him on actually printing a cooling system to cool down the chipsets on here. So once I start putting it under any kind of load, so it's not overheating, and I got an idea for how that's going to go. So I'll, I'll keep posting as I get updates. Um, in the back, I got a 16 gig or 16 port gig switch. Um, of course, the Raspberry Pis only have 100 meg a piece on the connections. Um, up here, this is a basically a, a USB charging station, and these are two amps a piece. So there's plenty of power to run all this. This is one of those little X boom speakers, and I will have to say it is pretty phenomenal sounding um, for no bigger than this thing is. And then a 7 inch display, and I've done all this pretty cheaply to be honest with you, um, and it is all on battery backup if I pull the battery right now. Ironically enough, it'll go and uh, it will send the down signal to the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi will then send an email to the email server. Email gets relayed off of that out to my Gmail account and I personally receive that in my mail that my I lost power on the system. So it's it's been pretty fun. I just been working on it a little bit here and there once in a while so but uh it's coming along and I can't wait to get it mounted on a board, get everything looking nice and clean. Should be pretty phenomenal. So all right, thanks for watching.